Okay, so we are going to pick right back up where we left yesterday in that the King James Version says that we don't sit in the seat of the scornful or the mocker, that we don't participate in those activities. And so we do not, and that truly is a, a crucifying of the flesh. You know, Jesus said um, or that we must die to self, we crucify our flesh. And Paul said in Galatians, um, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, not I but Christ who lives in me and gave himself for me. And so that is a dying to self, our flesh nature, our desires. And so that the scornful being open dislike, there are people that we just don't like. Go figure. Um, feeling or expressing contempt, lack of respect, um, looking at them as worthless or beneath you or I, and showing anger or indignation. Um, you, we may feel that way, but we do not get to um, voice that, I suppose is the best way to say it, that we do not sit in a seat and proclaim openly our dislike or our disrespect or um, contempt and our anger, making them feel worthless or us stating that we think they're worthless. And so even as I'm in reading this, a lack of respect, I think that's something that in the past couple of weeks we have really seen come to light in our culture is, is a lack of respect. And not just because of position, although, you know, we respect our parents, we respect our teachers, we respect our elders, but so many, many people now think just, you know, I don't have to respect you because I don't agree with you, I don't like you. All of these things, the scornful, open dislike and disrespect, um, making other people feel like they're worthless, like their opinions and their, their thoughts um, don't count and don't matter. Well... That's not the life of the blessed one. That's the life of the ungodly. And so we do carry ourselves in such a manner that people look at us and see something different. And so our conduct is to be ruled by the word and not by the world. And so when this says, um, oh my goodness, and then we go back to the mockers, those who ridicule other people and those who mimic other people as a sport, making a joke or making fun, that should not be our character. We don't sit in that seat. Take yourself out of that seat. I need to take myself out of that seat. And <laughs> something happened the other day. Somebody, we, my husband and I were out and we saw somebody do something and we just really wanted, I mean, it was, it was foolish. What they did was foolish. Um, and, and we both it, we caught ourselves because we wanted to make fun. Like it was one of those t things, one of those times it was like, <sighs> you just shake your head. But the, we, we didn't need to make fun of that person. There was no reason to make fun of that person. And so it's very important where, you know, we think something might be funny, but it's, it's really not. And so well, I'm not saying you can't have fun, you can't make jokes, but not at another person's expense. Does that make sense? We don't we don't make we don't make jokes. We don't imitate as insincere or counterfeit um, that you would mimic as a as a sport. And I know so many people. Um, and and here's the other thing too: if you hear people um, making fun of one group of people or this person, what's to say that they're not going to do that to you behind your back? Don't make fun of people. Do you want people to make fun of you? not very nice and most of the time it happens because of insecurity like we would be insecure of something ourselves so we would make fun of someone else we would joke or ridicule or mock someone else in order to make ourselves feel better about our own insecurity or fear well that's just the enemy deceiving us and so we think that the way to make ourselves feel better is to make someone else beneath us rather than asking our father to infuse us with his strength as Philippians 419 which we read um, on Sunday again amplified classic version is my favorite version of that scripture and I'm gonna read it again because you can never read it too many times
at 413. He says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I'm ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses his inner strength into me. See, it's not on my strength that I can do anything. It's not on my strength that I can get past that insecurity, but it's his strength in me that allows me to move past. And then, you know what? People see that we can move past insecurities. That encourages them to be able to move past. But the types of people um, who would mock someone or who would ridicule someone, who would be open, open, open about their dislike for someone, almost as in they're proud of their dislike, um, those, are, those are not the people that we need to associate with. Certainly not the people that we need to sit down and make ourselves comfortable with. And we'll get into that a little bit more tomorrow. And I will see you then. Bye, y'all.